When working with the new node-based material system, things can really get complex. For that reason, it is important to know some cues of simplification. First of them is hide all ports and co. The basic gradient node and the noise node in our example scene show a load of ports. By right-clicking on the specific node and choosing hide all ports, you can simplify the display of the node using less space. Show all ports reverses this function. Show connected ports specifies it. Next point, history. The button left to the hierarchy buttons remembers where you were or what you were working on. Choosing from the drop-down list gets you back to that specific place. Next point, filter search. Above the node window on the top right corner, you will find a filter search. Type in the node you're looking for in your setup. When doing so, the relevant node gets highlighted while others get gray out. Next point, soloing. The S button on any node allows you to see the effect on only this particular node on your object in the viewport. This is an important function to get a better overview of the function of that specific node. Example. To get a better idea of the UV distortion going on in our scene, just solo the noise node and look at the result in the viewport. Last but not least, Start Nodes. The button Set Start Node from the Node Editor's top bar defines which node's parameters are visible at first in the Material Editor or Attribute Manager when a material is selected. Let's have a look at an example. Click on the Noise node in our scene and select Set Start node. The Noise node is then set as a Start node, indicated by a greenish line around the node. If you then double-click the material in the Material Manager, the parameters of that Noise node will appear on top in the Material Editor or the Attribute Manager. Clear Start node reverses the process.